Kim, how are you? I'm doing very well. We're in Hassel now, and it's loads of fun. And we're with people that are willing to open their hearts and to connect to each other, so that's great. And um, also, I also like that uh, people are are able to be sort of sarcastic sometimes, or to to not be very airy fairy, or not like sometimes you can just yeah cut the crap and talk about what matters. So it's good, good combination of true honesty and making fun. Who are you? Hmm? Who are you? I am Kim. Kim means horizon in Dutch. And uh, I work at Nomads. And um, I've done Chaos Pilots Netherlands for one year. And I am a social worker. And um, I... Uh, and then I, I, I made the switch to social entrepreneurship, so now I'm an entrepreneur myself, even though I come from a very non-entrepreneurship uh, family. So uh, I, like, from, from, from my home, they taught me, like, you need, to, you need a pension, you need security, you need safety, even though they were very open and f free in their mind. And, uh, very, but it was also like, but you do need to choose for some stability. And so I've been trying to look for this balance, and I think, for me, it's it is social entrepreneurship, where because then you find people um, that follow their passion and that just need to think creative in order to make a living. So it's it's a choice, but it's also a necessity. So I think that's really good, and it's um, yeah. So that's me. What's your experience with um, organizations who want to change? What um, what helps them, or what what is needed that people are getting over this uncertainty and, and insecurity? Well, I think many people, they, they choose for stability in a sense, um, just because you need that as well. You, like you, many people, they just feel the need of having a house or having, having something to, to fall back on. Um, but for in order to, for an organization to be able and willing to change and to go into this uncertainty, to dive into it. Um, I think, what do, we, what do they need? They need, they ne I think they need uh, um, trust in the people that are the organization. Because every organization is built of people and often we talk about them, they, the managers or they from nomads or they from shell whatever but it's not like that it's just it's the people that form this organization and as soon i think as you have trust in those people then um you can also you dare to jump into this change because you trust that whatever is happening it's done for the for the better good so it makes sense because you know oh because the people they they're good in their hearts so they we're together, we're moving towards something bigger or greater. How do you feel about like what you said before, like um, in, in Nomads, you're right now at the point where you really don't want to um, reinvent in the wheel every time. Mm. And what, what's your challenge in Nomads and how can other organizations, people learn from that? Mm. Well, I think what our challenge at the moment is really, to f it's also very much in the council, in the, in the, in the organization that there's this, there's this balance between we want chaos and or, or, um, yeah chaos and creativity to flow, but then you also need some structure to to, to support that, and it's this fine balance. Um, so you need the minimum structure possible or order possible to, to support this creativity and to support this chaos, but you shouldn't let it run wildly and free because then you keep reinventing the wheel because some things they have just proven that they work and and you need to figure out what works or what is just a cultural heritage that is not supporting us or is, is, is something that we're actually just taking because we're used to it and we think it's safe but it's actually not wor really working and to find this minimum structure I think that is our challenge because it's some things they really work and we can just take them with us and actually implement them and and I think it's okay like to make some rules um, and then yes rules are always to be broken um, but only if they are, if they're 
they need to be broken if it makes sense to break them and not just for the breaking of the rules because sometimes they make sense and they're actually um, they support the whole community or the whole organization and then uh, like what I said is that there's there's, um, there's this, this balancing between order and chaos and um, but balance it's it's not finding the balance as a as a ver uh, as a as a as a noun because then it's sort of stable and you have found the balance but then it gets very boring so you want to be you want balancing to be a verb where you kind of go like ooh there's there's too much there's too much order oh no no like we need to go down and there's and then it gets ooh there, no, there's too much chaos and then so you balance the whole time and it shouldn't be in excesses it shouldn't be too much because then you tip over but just the whole time this this flow so this whole and that you if everyone is aware of this balancing verb then i think as an organization you are you're on the right track but you will never have the perfect moment because as soon as you're there you try to grasp it and then it's people and people are never perfect and there's new people and um and then someone comes in and has a new idea and you need to be able to to go with that idea and then the whole time it's this flow yeah what do you think what what skills do we need in the future um well it depends very much on in which field you are because i think we need people that are like my dad he's an autist and uh, he's very skillful but he cannot deal with change but he, he he just he knows how to program computers you know how 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 planes are built and he knows how to form the best um, music compositions he's very good in structures and i think that's awesome and we need to cherish those people but we shouldn't uh, ask of them to be able to work in flex places and to um, to change desks all the time and to be exact like so there's different um, i think that that what we need is that everyone has the awareness that there's all these different people that have different skills. So some people are really, they thrive in chaos and they, they're very they're very chaotic and things need to change and rules need to be broken and that you have that attitude where innovation can happen, but you also need people just to back it up and just to do the sort of structural uh, tasks and to, to make the... Um, to, to make the support system, to make the website that knows that uh, the whole internet is built out of ones and zeros. And I don't even know if that's true. I don't know. I mean, I'm not that kind of person, but there are people that know that. And we shouldn't lose that. And we should cherish that as well. So I don't think we should say, this is the perfect, um, this is the perfect way to do things. But we should be all aware that there's all these different skills and that we can use them all. What can you learn from the, what can other companies, organizations, schools learn from the nomads? Mm. I think nomads are really good in seeing people who they are, so that they can be, so they can be professional, and they're they're humans. So you can have fun, and you can do your work well, and that you don't have to put in this mask like, now I'm your, I'm your boss. And then everyone should praise that boss and just not pretend that also that boss goes to the toilet every morning and shits. Like ev everything, like everyone, or or like less uh, um, uh, blood. <laughs> I don't know what is that. Anyways, you could, like they have also have a they have a kid, they have a wife that they love, they have they have the, a mother that they care for. So everyone has this, this life, like a human life, um, and, and wants something. And I think if you find out what everyone wants, um, and if, if you can combine that and you know that of each other, then you can build something great. Thank you. Yes.